Local fire danger drops from very high to high, but open fires and firearms are still banned. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, for a cool $23 million, you can own the former ranch home of Thunder, the white Arabian horse who has been the Denver Broncos mascot since 1993. The Summit Daily reports Triple Creek Ranch north of downtown Silverthorne is on the market this month. The property comes with two homes, 12 bedrooms, and 12 bathrooms. But if you're a horse, you're more interested in 255 acres of private land with streams and ponds. Local fire danger is down to high today from very high. Officials say this is due to a rise in relative humidity and recent afternoon rainstorms. The county is still under stage two fire restrictions though, meaning no fireworks, firearms, or open fires of any kind. Officials expect that to remain in place for several weeks or until heavy fuels like logs have been saturated. The Grand Junction man who allegedly stole a vintage snowcat from Mintern in March missed his very first Eagle County court date because he was sitting in a jail cell in Jefferson County. The Vail Daily reports the suspect is wanted on other criminal charges in Jefferson, Mesa, and Clear Creek counties. Authorities found the snowcat in Junction soon after it went missing, but not the suspect who had fled to the Front Range. He was arrested a month later in Boulder. Tomorrow brings the Triple Bypass, Frisco Triathlon, and Breck 100 to Summit County, and that means road and trail closures. For the Triple Bypass, with 3,500 cyclists, Loveland Pass is closed to all traffic except commercial vehicles from about 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and westbound Swan Mountain Road is closed from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. There are no hard trail closures for the Frisco Triathlon or Breck 100, but expect tons of traffic on the Frisco Peninsula from 9.30 a.m. to noon, and Wheeler Pass, Golden Horseshoe, the Colorado Trail, French Gulch, and Carter Park from 6.30 to about 6 p.m. If you're on the river today, flows are 554 CFS on the Arkansas River at Granite and 1,290 on the Colorado River near Dotsero, flowing about the same as yesterday. The Upper Colorado near Kremling is at 962 CFS, up 100 points. The Blue River below Dillon Dam here in Summit is light today at 155 CFS, down about 100 points from yesterday. In sports, the Rockies beat the Diamondbacks yesterday five runs to one. The Rockies open a weekend series with the Mariners tonight. First pitch is 640. This Sunday at 9 a.m. local time is the World Cup final between France and Croatia. Vegas has France as the favorite, winning in regular time. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, we finally have results from the Baker's Tank trail run on Wednesday. 23-year-old Joshua Ernst finished first overall on the 7K course in 34 minutes, 27 seconds, and Ruthie Boyd was back in town, winning the women's race in 38.02. 44-year-old Mark Martin William took the 11K title in 56 minutes, 27 seconds, and 34-year-old Kelly Ahern won the women's 11K in 1 hour, 1 minute, 57 seconds. That series Series continues July 25th at Horseshoe Gulch. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.